Hey, what's good, YouTube? My name is Lex. I'm a cinematographer based in Lagos, Nigeria. I want to thank you all for subscribing to my channel. I didn't expect my last video to do well, and here I am at 2K subscribers. Thank you very much. DaVinci Resolve is great for color grading, but I really don't enjoy editing in DaVinci as much as I enjoy editing in Premiere. So what I do is I edit in Premiere, then move it to DaVinci to color grade, then move it back to Premiere. And to me, it's actually the best because I'm already addicted to like editing in Premiere and I know my ways around Premiere. It's not like I don't know my ways around DaVinci, but I just prefer doing it in Premiere, but I also prefer color grading in DaVinci. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit in Premiere, move your footage to DaVinci to color grade, then bring it back. And if there is one thing you should know is that when you're editing, you can't add any effect. You can add your warp stabilizer. You can only slow down your footage. For the people that have the studio of action of DaVinci Resolve, you can only slow down your footage. So what you're going to do is just make your cuts, your basic cuts, grade in DaVinci, bring it back to Premiere and add your effect. So let's jump into the tutorial. So this is my Premiere Pro project. So I'm going to export it. I'll go to my file and export, export as final cut XML. Then just look for folder and save it in the folder. Let's say DaVinci to Premiere. So I'm going to save the file here. Just click save. Yeah, so. Let's close my Premiere Pro, then open my DaVinci Resolve. So I'm going to create a new project for this. Let's say FRRR anything at all let's just create something so i'm going to import the premiere timeline so i'm going to come to file so i'll go i'll head over to file then import import timeline then I'll look for my folder and import our footage here open now we have the whole timeline here. We have our cut intact. So you can add over to like your color tab and just make your, make your grade. For this footage here, yeah, I actually like graded it before and yep, yeah, so. So it's the grade. So after like finish grading, I can just, I can head over to my deliver tab, then look for Premiere Pro XML, just tap, then browse. And I will head over to the location. Let's save it here, new folder, read it. And I'll save it inside this folder and add to render queue. Then I'll render all. Make sure you check this boss here, render at source resolution. And just make sure like it's rendering individual clip, not a single clip. This single clip will merge your entire video to a single clip. Then the individual clips will actually like still keep your cuts intact. So. Add to render queue and render. So we'll just wait for it to render and then we'll go back to Premiere Pro. Okay, we're back in Premiere and this is my normal Premiere timeline. So I would just like press shift one then create a new bin. Let's say we'll name this grade. Then we'll just double click to import. And I'll just import this XML file here. This is the only thing I need to import. And the rest footage will just come in. So I've imported it and I'll just 
I'll look for the timeline icon. And here is the timeline icon. So we have our timeline here. And this is like the graded. There's this audio issue I always experienced after I import my footage from Resolve to Premiere. Uh, audio sounds somehow and so basically what I do to like solve this is I'll just make sure I select everything, all the audio and I'll delete it. So I'll replace the audio with the original premier timeline audio. So I'll just copy and I'll drag to graded timeline. So basically this is what I do to solve this audio and this is how I am able to edit in Premiere and color grade in DaVinci and do my final editing in Premiere too. Um, it's actually a very simple workflow and I personally enjoy doing this. I love color grading in DaVinci but I really don't like editing in DaVinci. I love 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 color editing in Premiere Pro. So it's actually very, very simple. If you have any questions, you can ask me down and I'll try my best to respond to all the comments. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed, just subscribe. But if you don't want to subscribe, it's actually very fine. And yeah, Jesus loves you. Thank you. Gracias.